has had this big tax change that happened yeah. last week where we made our tax rates one of the most competitive in the world. What is the view that you think that foreign companies will have now? Because that really was one of the big, big uh, hurdles. I agree. There's no question, as has been said. I think having a competitive tax rate is foundational in terms of encouraging business investment, both FDI uh, and uh, local business investment. I think it also sends a signal that the government has listened to the feedback from business in terms of one of those changes. Uh, I do think, though, that the points already made in terms of uh, looking at the tax cuts as part of a holistic industrial policy you know, is very important. Certainly what FDIs are looking for is, yes, very competitive tax rates, but they want to see the government continuing to support uh, investors, those who are creating jobs, etc. And therefore, to me, the tax cuts send a very, very strong signal. And certainly the initial feedback we've had has been very positive from business in terms of encouraging investment into a market which is already very attractive for them. Right. Do you think the shift that everybody is talking about, the factories moving out of China and moving to Southeast Asia, and one of the reasons why the tax cuts happened also was because the need to attract such investment. Uh, you think India could grab a big share of that? I mean, if there is a... Why should a pixel plant be in Vietnam? Why can't it be in India? Uh, I, I think it's a really good question. Uh, a lot will depend on uh, the other um, policies put in place to attract that sort of investment. And frankly, the extent to which you want to attract that investment as well. I mean, you're right. Much of the, the narrative has been about factories moving from China to Vietnam or others in Southeast Asia. There's no reason at all that it shouldn't be in India, provided there's a confidence and a certainty, what well, business needs beyond competitive tax and the right infrastructure is a certainty that policies are going to be, be, be maintained and sustained. And I think with that, there's no reason at all that some of that investment wouldn't come uh, to India. I think India has many advantages in terms of FDI, both its, its local market, but also a very highly qualified workforce, a very obvious uh, skill in, um, in technology. And you wouldn't want to downplay that in terms of also attracting factories. But as an option, absolutely, why not?